Hello everyone and welcome back to The Whiskey Jar. Today we are talking about the Macallan edition number four. Now for those of you that have watched the channel for years, you know that edition two got a huge score for me. It was one of our whiskies of the year, for that year. Edition three wasn't as well received. I liked it, but it was softer and it was sweeter. Edition four is moving back into that edition two style. I never tried edition one, so I can't tell you anything about that. Um, this is to celebrate Macallan's brand new distillery, um, which has increased their production by a lot. They now have like the largest mash tun in all of the whiskey, or the single malt whiskey industry. And this is to an ode to that style. Um, it's a very busy box and there's a lot to talk about. So no doubt on the cutaway footage, you'll see all the finite details of it all. Um, but just in terms of taste and smell, this is what we're here to talk about. So we'll crack on with that straight away. It is 48.4% ABV. You notice a trend, the point one was, the addition one was 48.1, two was 48.2, etc., etc. So there's a bit of a theme with that. But classic Macallan colour, dark and sherried. And let's see what it smells like. Unmistakably Macallan. It is a beautiful combination of really dark cocoa, really dark chocolate, kind of like coffee, uh, espresso, roasted coffee beans. There's bits of toffee and honey, a little bit of banana, there's some citrus running around in there. A bit of ginger. Powdered ginger. It's quite deep, unusually savoury. There's some sweet notes in it, but the dominant flavours are that, that ginger note, like root ginger or powdered ginger. Coffee, really heavily roasted coffee beans and really dark chocolate. So there's sweetness, but there's not loads. Compared to the two, which was really, really kind of milk chocolatey, and the three, which was more kind of apple and honey. taste it. I bought this bottle with a friend of mine and we split it. As you can see I've not drank all of that in like a month. And I tried a little bit when we first opened it and it was really savoury then. Not unpleasant, just it was really dominant with earthy savoury tones. Now, it's been open for about three weeks. Texturally, that's one of the nicest whiskies I've tried this year. That's like kind of swilling olive oil around your mouth. It gets into every little compartment. Really thick, really flavoursome. It's not a powerful finish, but it's long. And in terms of the palate, it is a bit more dominant with honey and toffee. The sweetness pulls through a little bit more. And then the finish, much more reminiscent of that original ginger, dark chocolate, more bitter, sweet, earthy tones. Not tasting much malt through there, and I've got no idea what the age range is. Um, you can take a, a, a good guess based off what I'm tasting. I'm gonna say anywhere from 10 all the way up to maybe like 15, maybe some 16 year old. Let's give it another go. Texturally, it's a 10 out of 10. It is a beautiful, creamy, just really moorish, comfortable texture within your mouth. And then oak's beginning to pull through a bit more now. There's a variation of oak styles in this from punch-ons to butts to barrels. It's becoming drier. It's becoming even more bitter, but again, it's not unpleasant. If you enjoy like eating dark chocolate, this is the whiskey for you more than anything. There's a little bit of chilli spice in there, tiniest bit of smoke, not a lot. It's still not as good as the two, but you should never compare things to what has already been in the past because it's a new style, it's a different recipe of whiskey altogether. Um, it cuts its own groove. This isn't like any Macallan I've tried before. And I do think it is very nice and these additions, two, three and four have been Certainly the most interesting whiskey I've tried from Macallan in the past three years. Um, I do like the regular 12, that's very nice. I even like the new bottle design with that kind of cheeky Fred Perry v-neck thing that's going on with it. Um, that is a very, very nice whiskey. I would quite happily give that an eight and a half. Um, the price is still a little bit much. It's like 80 pounds. If it was like 70 to 75, yeah, walk all over it, I'd buy two bottles. Split one with a friend just because it is quite a lot of money. 
even for the information they give you, a little idea about age range would be quite nice. Um, but nonetheless, wonderful flavour, fantastic texture, texturally it's the whiskey of the year so far. Um, but a solid 8.5 out of 10. So thank you all for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the Teenage Mutant Ninja McAllen, and we will see you all next week. Cheers.